Welcome back to Boston Pilots. Let's play some more Human Desires 4. We're playing as the Isles. We're going for the Inner Terminal achievement. Starting as the Isles, we have to have 20 provinces by 1500, none of which are on islands. And we're trying to break free from the Scottish overlords. We have the help of the Brits, but the Scots have the help of the French. And that's a bit of an issue. Because of this guaranteed independence here. I really wish. I could wait for this to end, but we don't have that kind of time. So I'm going to go out and declare war. It looks grim. The hopes have to be that the British Navy can keep the French from the mainland. We get our taking war score. And yes, the French are going to sit on all the British mainland holdings, but hopefully that's going to be fine. Woof. Confirm. Yes. Stability effect, we knew this would happen. But there's no way around that when declaring independence, I don't think. Try to get my troops over there before the Scottish boats can come in, and I did. Unfortunately, I did not put my boats to go home at war. We actually won a battle there, though, which is funny. Okay, here we go. Where are you going? To Argyle. I might detach a guy and go south. I think they just hired a mercenary regiment there? Did they? I don't know. Okay, we're gonna try to as quickly as possible. Also, go down a speed. Don't ward speed five. I know I do this, and I really know I shouldn't. I'm gonna try to cap uh, capture Ersha and Argyle before the Brits can, so we can just take it in the war. It's a bit risky because there's still a Scottish army somewhere, but they seem to be busy on Ireland, which is nice. High income. I don't think I want to pop high income right now because we don't have any money to construct anything. So what do we gain from it? Absolutely nothing. Do I start sitting down Lothian here? Or am I afraid of these guys coming over? They did bring their... Why is Lanster in this war? Hmm, apparently the Brits brought Lanster. Must be how this works, right? Are you... Oh, you're British subject. Okay, makes sense. I'm gonna say that the Scots are not... gonna come out right now. I'm gonna have my mercenaries siege the Scottish capital. And then I need these these troops to do stuff. I don't currently see a British Navy doing great things here. They're the British heavies, busy hunting down the Scottish fleet, while the French have boats around. If these guys ever make it over, we're dead. <laughs> so we really, really need the, the Brits to not allow that to happen. The Scots only have three transports up here. I'm gonna get my guys back to maybe make me some money. Uh, and apparently we get attacked immediately? By whom? Oh. Oh. Run! Fudge. <laughs> I thought the Brits would protect me. I didn't see a Scottish fleet. There is a Scottish fleet. Yeah, we might lose some trade boats here. I don't even see any British help coming in. You please run as soon as you can. We have occupied Ayrshire, which is nice. Uh, we don't have siege pips on you. Can I walk into that? I can. Take as much occupation as I can for myself. Try to... When can I flee? 30th of June. Wow, that's going to be the end of that fleet. Well, no, they actually lived. It's very nice. None of the ships died. Excellent. Still need the Brits to do exactly this. Keep those French off my country, off my land. Of my country too, I guess. This British army down here, it's nice that they're sieging down some French subject, but they're going to be dead. All I need is for them to keep the seas and, I mean, keep control of this stuff too. Because the armies of Ulster and Offaly and the suddenly increased army of Scotland are a bit risky. Maybe the reason 
Another thing I think about, I talked about it last episode, that the AI seems to be happy to go down in force limit, or in actually standing forces, is the availability, availability of mercenary regiment these days. Maybe it's just good to have some force limit available to pop uh, mercenaries on demand. Maybe. I mean, I've been doing it even without force limit, but hey. Uh, and you can see that my... I suddenly make money, partially because I'm looting foreign cities, but also partially because we're no longer really over force limit, just by one, because we don't, we're not considered a subject right now. So that worked out fine. All right. All my occupations are done. Except for, well, Lothian. We have to still siege down that fort. Wouldn't mind a British fleet here giving me some some blockade, but I guess they're not even blockading their own stuff. And their main job has to be keeping France safe. Yeah, there goes the British mainland army, as expected. You're doing a really bad job at sieging down Dumfries, I must say. I mean, I'm also doing a very bad job, <laughs> bad job sieging down Lothian, and that should be a lot easier. So I can't complain too much. These guys are pretty good at sieging down Leinster, I must say. I mean, they're putting way too many troops on it. That's just a mistake. But, yeah. Pope still only answers to God. How did I take Aberdeen? Thought I took Aberdeen. There's no fort here that takes it back. Keeps on making a, using the same paper bull. Bull? Probably bull. The Renaissance, this changes everything. Oh, go to spawning one. That's a new button. I like it. It's going to be a while until we get the Renaissance over here. But maybe with the Brits as our neighbors, we will have a chance. Okay, here's an Ulster army. An army from Ulster coming over here. How do we do with this? I think I'm going to wait, take Aberdeen. It's, yeah, it would have been unlikely that we could get into Ayrshire but um, by the time they arrive there. And now, do I want to take the battle? I guess I do. Ah, but I can't. I mm -hmm. guess I don't. So if you go to Lothian and swap the siege around, the issue is, I mean, I need to kill these guys. They need to be gone. But I was not able to leave one guy from the free army there because he cannot split mercenary armies anymore. And I did want to keep my siege progress. So I had to do this. Actually have you attached to first army. Let's select first army. It's a bit finicky with these mercenary armies, I must say. Wait, where's first army? This is first army, why doesn't it? Huh? This is not first army. Why can I choose first army? There. Which has the mercenaries attached. I'm gonna have to hunt these guys down. Um, siege ability, I'll take it. They're going to Sutherland. I really don't want to fight them on the highlands. And I do want to keep the siege going. Maybe I'll just do this. See where they end up. Maybe they try seeding down my capital. No, they don't. I don't think I go for Sutherland here. But I will go into Ayrshire once these guys lock in. Will I though? That's a lot of Scots. Do I actually have to give up the siege of Lothian and hide behind my my English friends? I think I do. I mean, I do have to. Can't find 60,000 guys. Yeah, I'm just gonna hide here. These are gonna run away again. Okay, then I and you're not gonna come. Interesting. I wish I could throw you guys out of Sutherland. Yeah, I don't. I can't see the fort to siege John Lothian here. Now I can if the Brits let me, because the British army just now nah, they don't. They do not. 
But maybe they'll get dislodged there. They do. Gain three iron professionalism. Nice. Um, do I want to take this battle or do I just turn around and run? Let's take some war participation. Yeah, it's Highlands. I hate it. But we should have the numbers to stack up them. Very nice. And we wouldn't have made it to Lothian here anyway. I still want to have it. But it seems unlikely that the Brits are going to give up that siege now. Are we actually negative on war score? Because of the occupation of Can And the occupation of Leg in there. And my British friends have a lot of pretenders. I mean, I know what's going on. I knew the War of the Roses would be a bit of an issue. Do I go and siege down? Actually, I do. Let's deal with the Irish problem. Ah, oh, but I can't. I need a British Navy here to let me pass. There's a British Navy, or somebody's Navy. The Lancaster Navy. I still can't pass, though. Didn't you just make them run? You did. There's the British Navy. Good. And I should have enough here to... Detach the mercenaries. Which, they're not even attached. Okay. Oh, no. No. Run away. That's a lot of Scots and Offaly. I don't want to be on an island anymore. <laughs> Let's leave. Pure reform. Fine. Now, without still being... No, that's just an enemy. If Alsa was under our control, we could stop. No, we can still stop enemies from passing here, because they don't control both sides. Yes, yes. That's how that works. Now, please get me that siege, get me some war score, because this is not looking great. Also, you have a bunch of rebels, England. I don't like it. Go beat up some Scots, please. Uh, is there any loot around here? There is. Let's grab some money. Why well, have nothing else to do? There's the British Siege of Stuff. They're going south, which, as long as they keep their fleet around, I'm fine with. They do not currently do that. Well, they do keep their fleet around, but they're not... Hmm. They are very undecided about what to do with their troops. The fact that they're losing forts to their rebels is a bit of an issue. It's a teensy tiny bit. I will join your war, I guess? Against Mulhouse? <laughs> so mainland Britain is... It's over. I will accept this. It brings in another miner. Different war though, so these guys shouldn't be fighting. But the British attention is going to be super divided. We might just lose here. I need these Brits. And I did need them to keep control of those straits, and I didn't. If they do it now, it's fine. There's a British Navy there. I might be able to pop these guys in Ayrshire. Now they have a bunch of maneuver, and I'm going to have a river crossing happen to me, which is actually bad. Let's do... wait. Let's assume... Yeah, there's also a river to Loth Lothian, so I'm just gonna go there. It'll be fine, and I need these Brits to stop the retreat. And they do. Nice stack wipe. There are things we can do. But... And we have ticking wars on our side, right? Yes. Thing is, we don't have much else on our side, and England is on low... war score. Um, low... Enthusiasm. Now, the interesting thing is, if England pieces out... Um, who do you do? Brits, please. Okay, the British Navy is leaving, so I must leave. <laughs> Run! Um, what was, was I trying to say? If the English peace out, we should be in a advantageous war score position. Unfortunately, the fact that they're just taking back Ayrshire is... it's not good. 
I need the British Navy to stop that from happening, and they didn't. So now I need a British army to come up here and deal with those Scots. And they're gonna sit on Dumfries for a while, so that's probably okay. But yeah, they're just feeding in troops right now. And there's nothing I can do about it. Nothing at all. And we need at least 50% war score. 100 tradition general at the cost of 25 plus 3 is 25 legitimacy. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. How good are you? Not very, considering. 3 3 3. I just paid for that. And let's have a quick look at our estates because uh, we can press some buttons again. We can't seize land. Which, maybe I don't do the diet then, right now. Because of loyalty issues. I mean, I have loyalty issues anyway. Fine, let's wait. Let's wait. Don't love it. Unrest? Really? Okay, there's a the British army. They might... I mean, they're pretty beaten now. Mm, yeah. Thought they might come north and deal with the Scots, but they have... They took a big beating from those people. And that is the Brits out of the war. England lost their overlordship over Leinster. Peace will cost Scotland a bit. So, on the plus side... Fudge. <laughs> I think we're dead here. I don't see how we beat this. It's too many enemy troops, even without the French. And now the French have a free pass over the sea if they want to, because they're no longer at war with the Brits. Ay ay ay. Um What's my emergency measure here? Is there an emergency measure here? I have to beat fifteen thousand Scottish people. Scottish, get it. Um And that's rough on its own. I cannot afford to hire any mercenaries, I don't think. No. And my loan size is probably pretty tiny. Yep. As is my DBX currently. Same thing. I could raise war taxes. It costs me a bit of mill, but gives me a bit of money. I'm gonna do it. But it's not gonna be enough. How do we get this, turn this around. I mean, I don't think we do, but how do we do it? I'm gonna grab this discipline guy when it comes to a battle. Where are you going? To the inner Hebri Hebrides. I might wanna try and catch him there, but Oh, we have to go through Argyle to do it? Never mind. <laughs> so Argyle is hills, we can't fight them there. Why do I have to go that way? Can I go this way? I can. The game just didn't want to let me. Okay, I'm gonna try to take this stack out and maybe use my fleet to do some nice dancing here. We do not see a battle. There we go. Better map mode for that. Oh, they got their troops over. And I haven't even attached my troops. Yeah. Yeah. This is over, yeah. And then something about a horrible concert. No, I've got very low one. That's that. That's our independence. We're gonna have to try again. This didn't work at all. At all. So what were our main issues here? The... Well, the French were a problem because the fact that they controlled this stuff, controlled the mainland, caused us a lot of war score. 
and gave us exhaustionally Brits. But mostly the fact that the War of the Roses was going on. I think we have to wait until that is over before we can do anything else, right? We can't deal with these amounts of rebels and Scotland and France at the same time. Okay, so we learn. Wait until the British have stabilized and then declare independence. Yes, we're on time pressure and all that, but this this clearly, clearly didn't do what we needed to. Um, not at all. Looked good for a while, but then the British peace out. Also, that extra war that they got into, woof, not great. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, <laughs> even this, then please do hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and uh, turn back in tomorrow when I'm going to try again with this. Also, check out the Malhaus campaign if you're not watching that. It comes uh, out every, well, every day at noon European Central Time. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.